Do you know what is the best case scenario if you and your girlfriend make the porno? It's gonna look like this. Let's make something straight. I hated the movie. I hated it because the people who made it had to lie about what it is. Just imagine the level of deception required to claim this is not a porno. Let me prove it for you. 9 songs, not including the songs, it has in total 164 lines. Trust me, I counted them all, which mounted to 2.455 lines per minute. May I remind you that it is alarmingly low, and it has 32 minutes 35 seconds of sex scene. Trust me, I timed it, which is 48.78% of the total screen time. Do you know what I am comparing it with? Pirates 2, Sargettis Avenge, for over 2 hours of screen time, it has 947 lines, which means it has 6.86 lines per minute, more than double the amount of 9 songs. And I did not include the dialogue during the sex scenes, if I do, there will be over a thousand lines. And surprisingly, it has only 51 minutes 22 seconds of sex scene, which is only 72.21% of the total screen time, 10% less than 9 songs. In another word, Pirates 2 have more dialogues and less sex scenes than 9 songs. I know what you're gonna say, but the 9 songs are so beautiful and the Pirates 2 is just another dirty porno. Okay. Let's go that way. Nine songs were made by a famous director who hired an actress with no prior experience. It only has a crew of five. One actress, one director, one actor, one songman, and one cameraman. Shot within a few days with handheld DV and no lighting. Pirates 2, the best porno industry can offer. What you can see is a group of people trying to make a movie that goes beyond porno. The costume design, the makeup, the special effect, the dialogue, the set. These are professionals who wanted to be remembered more than their work in porno. You can see how inexperienced they are in making a movie, but at the same time, you can also see how hard they try to prove themselves. I've worked through my issues. And I've become a better man because of it. And I realize that I don't need you to love me because I love myself now. So now, who has a moral high ground? The experienced director who took advantage of a young actress or the hardworking men and women who are trying to prove themselves out of a porno? <laughs>